Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam. Welcome back to another video. So I just rebooted both of these devices. They are identical 7th generation iPod touches with the A10 Fusion chip inside. Of course, the main difference is that one of these has iOS 12 on it, 12.1 or 12.3.1 to be exact, my bad. And then also this has iOS 13 beta 1 on it on the right. So I want to put these to the test to see. Apple claims some parts of iOS 13 were quicker, like some app launching. So I want to see, is it actually faster iOS 12 versus iOS 13? If you're excited for that, drop a like down below, help support the channel, and of course, hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. All right, first up, let's start off with some of Apple's stock apps, camera three, two, one. Pretty much identical on both here. Next up, let's go to calendar, three, two, one. A little bit faster on iOS 12. Next up, we've got the app store, three, two, one. And again, slightly faster than iOS 12, but pretty much the same. We've got wallet right here, three, two, one. Identical on both there. And then let's try news. This one usually takes a while on both, three, two, one. It was actually, that was weird. Like it started faster on iOS 13, but then finished faster on iOS 12. Let's try that one one more time if we close it out like that. And then go back to news, three, two, one. So it starts faster, like you can see some content faster on iOS 13, but it completely loads a little bit quicker on iOS 12, which is interesting. Also, let's try the TV app, three, two, one. So again, jumped ahead like a second, or a, a hair I should say on iOS 13, but then pretty much finished up at the exact same time. Let's also try music, three, two, one. And pretty much the same, yet again, clock. Uh, pretty much the same. So first party app wise, not really noticing any differences. Let's see if there are any improvements for third party apps. Kicking it off right here with YouTube. Loaded a little bit quicker on iOS 12. Next up we've got Instagram. Again, just a little bit quicker on iOS 12. Next up, Twitter is right here. Always takes a second on, I feel like every device, uh, and definitely loaded for sure quicker on iOS 12. Tweetbot is my favorite Twitter client. Pretty much the same on both. Amazon right here. Again, I mean, maybe a hair faster on iOS 12. It's very hard to tell. A lot of these are so close. A little bit faster, it looked like on iOS 13 here. We've got Apollo, the best Reddit client out there for sure. A little bit faster on iOS 12, deliveries package tracker. Pretty much the same on both, Apple Store app. Faster on iOS 13, uh, but again, it's doing that thing where it loads part of the interface first on iOS 13, but then finishes up a little bit slower at the end. We've got weather right here, I mean, pretty much identical. Reloaded a little bit quicker than uh, iOS 12, if that means anything. We've got goat right here. Definitely loaded a little bit quicker on iOS 13. And then StockX, another sort of hype beast reselling site. So I've run this test a few times actually, and in each and every single test, I find this interesting. iOS 13 won without question, like by that clear margin. And even Goat, which is another sort of like web-based content loading app, it also won again on iOS 13. So I feel like there may have been some improvements there. Let's try this right here. Uh, pretty much identical there. Let's jump into some games now, see if there are any differences here. A little bit faster on iOS 13, but by barely anything, you couldn't even really call that a win. Next up, we have Plague Inc. Definitely faster on iOS 12 there. Balloons Tower Defense 5, I need to play this game. Apparently a sixth generation version came out and I just wasn't aware. Uh, really fell behind for some reason in that instance. So yeah, iOS 12 is a clear winner here. Uh, let's go down to Where's My Water, a game that I feel like Disney has been milking for years. This came out, I think, when I had my iPad 2 still, if that means anything. Uh, loaded pretty much at the same time though on both iOS 12 and 13. Here a faster load on iOS 13, and then we've got this game right here. A little bit quicker on iOS 12. All right, so, so after editing this, I went through it again to see how big of a difference there was between iOS 12.1.3 and iOS 13 beta 1, and I kid you not, 
There were 12 times that 12.1.3 was faster than iOS 13, and there were 12 other times that iOS 13 Beta 1 was faster than iOS 12.1.3, meaning that the frame on the screen lit up first with some useful or relevant info, and then there were three dead ties. So across the board, uh, one to one, iOS 12.1.3 and iOS 13 are pretty much even if you average it out. I wanna try some random websites now. These are connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network, so let's start off with Apple right here and almost identical to the T on, on iOS 12 and iOS 13. Let's try YouTube next. Loaded a little bit quicker there actually. Uh, and this one got the push notification first though, which is kind of random. Let's go to, I mean, everybody's favorite iOS news site that gets updated whenever I can get around to it. We got iUpdateNews.com a little bit faster on iOS 13. Uh, let's try r slash Apple on Reddit. Reddit's site is usually really, really bad. Um, I mean, they both ended up loading at about the same time, but iOS 12 definitely jumped ahead there. Next up, let's try to go to Apple's developer downloads site right here. Both gonna ask you to sign in. Roughly the same, maybe a, maybe a hair faster on iOS 13. A uh, random about page on Apple's site. Identical when it was just text. Let's try, uh, oh, it doesn't show up on here. Oh yeah, here we go, I just gotta hit show more. I was gonna say, I have to type in an address, what is this? Uh, let's go Amazon right here. We already tried it, but kind of hard to call a winner there. Again, it was roughly the same, which you're gonna notice it's a very common trend. So to close things out, I wanna run a Geekbench test really quick just to see if there is any concrete difference in the numbers. But as you can see so far, like in some cases, iOS 12 is pulling ahead. In some cases, iOS 13 is pulling ahead. Uh, they seem to be about even, like sometimes one is better than the other, but it's not like iOS 12 over iOS 11 where there was a clear winner almost every single time. But the good news here is that iOS 13 is not really going to be like slower. I mean, if you average out all the differences, it's faster sometimes, it's slower others. It's not really going to be any slower than iOS 12, which is good. And you have to remember this is only iOS 13 beta one. It could only uh, hopefully get faster from here. I do not think it's gonna slow down. I don't anticipate that happening. It never really happens because Apple has some bugs to smooth out. I'm looking forward to running this again when iOS 13 is out for everybody in the fall. So looking at the scores here, iOS 13 is definitely uh, somewhat significantly slower than iOS 12.3.1 in single and multi-core scores. But again, really no huge difference between either of these. Uh, I just wanted to bring that to you in this video. I felt like iOS 13 was a little bit faster. It looks like it was a bit of a placebo effect. Uh, it seems to be you know, about the same as iOS 12. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below, and of course hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, hope you're doing well, and I'll see you all in my next video.